Johan Blake says Fred Curley can run a lot faster. So, can Curley become world champion in 2022? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. Look, we're getting so close, so close to our 10,000 subs, and it's because of persons like yourself. So please, hit the subscribe button. And when you do that, go in and hit that notification bell so you can know when the next video is about to drop. And we do that once every day. Also, if you enjoy our content, hit the like button. The algorithms absolutely love the engagement. So hit the like button. And plus, people, it's absolutely free if you hit the like button. And finally, don't forget to leave a comment. I love to hear your thoughts. I often learn a lot. Sometimes I agree. Sometimes I don't agree. But leave a comment. So, are you ready to discuss this? Are you ready to discuss that Johan Blake believes Fred Curry can go faster? When you ready? Yep. Good to go. Fred Curry has had one of the greatest seasons. In fact, has had his greatest track season in his brief athletic history. Curly, born Frederick Lee Curly on May 7, 1995, is an American track and field sprinter known primarily for competing in the 400 meters distance. He has earned several medals in the World Championships in the 400 meters and a four by 400 meter relay, including an individual bronze and a relay goal, a relay goal in the 2019 World Championships in Doha. Recently, Curly in 2021, um, decided to run the 100 and 200 meters surprising many onlookers and track experts at the United States track and field trials for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. Of course, Curly, against all odds, made the 100 meter team for the United States. And if we are to be honest, was the only U.S. sprinter to live up to his potential. That is in 2021, and people is the absolute truth. Uh, the, the, all the other greats did not. Um, uh, Ronnie Baker, none of these other people, Trevor Brummel, none of them. Now, recently, the world's second fastest man in both the 100 and 200 meters of all time, Jamaica's Johan Blake, said, and I'm quoting, he, meaning Curly, he's got talent in the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 400 meter. I'm really happy for him. And I think he can go a lot faster. I don't think he needs to change his technique. And that's coming from Johan Blake, literally the second fastest human being in history in both the 100 and, and 200 meters. Now, in his final race for this 2021 season, Curly runs an astounding 19.76, a personal best in the 200 meters in Nairobi, Kenya. In fact, the Continental Tour goal on their Instagram, they state, making history as, as he goes. In 2021, at Fred uh, F. Curly 99, took wins over 100 meters, 200 meters, and 400 meters on the Continental Tour Girls Gold Circuit. Who is going to challenge him next year? No. <laughs> that, I don't know about you, but those are very impressive numbers. And it's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this up. Because if you're endorsed by the, the great Johan Blake, come on. You, you're, you're a special kind of athlete. There's something about you that's absolutely special. And they're right. He has had victories in all three in, in Continental Tour Gold um, season, in the 2021 season, and has, I'm going to say it again, emerged as the only American USA sprinter to have delivered on the promise of doing well. In fact, in the finals of the men's 100 meters, it is Fred Curley who comes second in another PB, another personal best, coming second in a time of 
9.84 is PB. Um, now, I want you to understand, people, that Curly was not seen as the great hope. For the United States. I mean, you know, it was Trevon Bromel, it was it was Ronnie Baker and others. I mean, yes, it was impressive that he made it, but no one expected Curly to win silver medal at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics 100 meter finals in a personal best, by the way, of 9.84. And I want you to really understand how important that is. That's a big deal. Um, his PB in the 400 meters came in 2019 when he ran uh 43.64 you're seeing the race right here so you're talking about an athlete who has a uh a 19.76 in the 200 meters a 9.84 in the 100 meters and a nine a 43.64 in the 400 meters this is an exceptional athlete in fact there's only one athlete other athlete i know of in the world who i could compare and that's jamaica's Sharika Jackson. So, no worries. We know that he's extremely fast. We and, and I want you to remember this, you know. Curly really just started to run the 200 and 100 meters the other day, this season. That's when he really started to take it seriously, um, just like a Sharika Jackson. So the truth is, just as Johan Blake says, the sky is the limit, and I think he ran even better after the the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Uh, finals. His his um, Diamond League season and his um, Continental Tour Goal season was exceptional. So, in a field of um, 200 meter athletes that includes Mark uh, Marcel Jacobs from Italy, who won that race in 19.80 um, uh, in uh, Tokyo finals in the, the 100 meters, you have uh, Trevon Bromel who has a PB, I think, of uh, 9.75 or 9.76. Christian Coleman is back. Then you have to look at people like Tajay Gale out of Jamaica. Once his knee is fine, I think he's going to do exceptional work. And by the way, this is this is um, this is him in, in in one of his uh Diamond League runs. I mean, running 9.87 and winning and winning and getting used to winning. Um. He, he, can't, he calls himself, uh, he, he, I love this, he says, I'm a legend in the making, phase nine, I am history. Now people, I don't know how me think about athletics, I mean, I'm no athletic expert, but let's talk about this. You have a young man who is extremely, at least top four, top five, in 100, 200 and 400 meters. He just started running the 100 and 200 meters seriously and he's already demonstrating extremely exceptional times. Um, in one of his maybe five or six four, um, 100 meters, he wins silver um, in the finals of the Olympic Games, in the, 20, the 2020 Olympic Games that happened in 2021. He closes out his continental um tour goal season with wins in the 100 the 200 and the 400 only person to do so um he's fast he's young born in uh, what, 1995 or 1996 so we're looking at an athlete who has exceptional talent and one of the things i like about him is that he's not one of the hype athletes i don't i don't like using that word really but i'm saying no one was looking at him to deliver and he is consistently delivered i i am often confused about the fact that i mean i'm not american but i mean if i was american i'd be saying hey guys fred curly fred curly fred curly fred curly is the only person who delivered for the united states this season he's the one person who delivered and who has the more potential than perhaps a christian coleman or anyone else to actually run faster in all of all three disciplines um I think, contrary to most people, I think 2022 is going to be an exceptional season. I think Fred Curley has a very good chance of meddling uh, in Oregon 2022. And I'm going to tell you why. One, for a young man who just started around 100 and 200 meters, he's already running world championship times. World, world championships times. He seems to be getting faster. He's confident. He has tremendous self-confidence. He's, he's not arrogant, but he's confident. He understands what he can do. He has gotten used to winning. He's consistently winning. 
And let's face it, the field that he's facing is not the most. He's not facing a Blake. He's not facing a... Uh, not even a Gatlin because Gatlin is, is on his way out. He's not facing, a, 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 um, of course, a Usain Bolt. He's going to be coming up against people like a Tajay Gale, who I think is going to do extremely well. Um, a Oblique Seville. I, I, Jamaicans, Oblique Seville is going to shock all of you. He's going to do extremely well in 2022. Remember me telling you that. Um, a Sashin Dennis if he decides to run for Jamaica because I've really seen him in Jamaican colors. Um, then there's going to be a Ronnie, 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 Ronnie Baker who's going to keep pushing. Christian Coleman is back and he has a he has that self confidence too. He sees himself as a winner. He's also used to winning. Um, I think Marcel Jacobs out of Italy has something to prove. I mean, it's only for me it's strange for regarding Marcel Jacobs because he has not run a race um, since he won. Uh, in Tokyo way back when maybe he's training maybe they decided that it's time to just work on him to get faster I, I don't know but what I'm saying is given the average speed you're talking about the fastest in that group of people being something like um, uh, 9.75 9.76 and he's already running 9.84 and I think he can run faster with more and more training um, I think this is going to be one of the most competitive uh, world championships that we've ever seen in 2022. I think there's going to be at least six, seven um, young men who are going to go to that championship who could walk away with a win. That includes Fred Curley. It includes Jamaica's Oblique, Seville. It includes uh, Christian Coleman. It includes... I'm not sure about Trevon Bromel. I really like him, but I'm not sure. He just doesn't come across as a winner to me in that sense. And I'm not not being disparaging to the young man i hope he proves me wrong but what i'm saying is that there is a possibility that this young man can surprise so so you and blake knows talent he knows talent when he sees it he's the second fastest man in the 200 meters and he worked with um uh he worked with the great usain bolt for many many years is one of the reasons why he became so good and of course glenn mills so do i think he could become world champion honestly people yeah i think he could i don't see why he couldn't i mean you know he's he's not running against anybody who's running sub 10.7 and he sure as heck not running against anybody who's running a 10 a, a sub sorry sub 9.7 he's not running against anybody who's running a sub 9.7 um and i think he's only going to get faster so yeah I think he has the confidence, he has the speed, he has the stamina, he has the strength, he has the drive. And if you watch his list to his tweets, he's really serious about winning. He can win. It's not impossible. So, uh, of course, go ahead, um, hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow, please. We would appreciate love it. When you hit the subscribe button, go in and hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is about to drop. We do this roughly every day of the week, sometimes twice a week, twice a day, sorry. Um, hit the like button because the algorithms love the engagement. It means a lot to us personally. Uh, I want to thank you for doing so. And it's completely free to hit that like button. Finally, please leave a comment. This, I really want you to leave a comment. I really want you to know your thoughts on whether or not you think uh, Johan Blake is correct. And whether or not you think he can become world champion. Because I really think he can. I think there's about five young men who can. Remember, you are kings and you are queens. Avoid negative people. Remain positive. Believe in yourselves. Um, and as always, bless up.